Hi, I am Asiya Batul Astrologer presenting you the traits of Aries that are never discussed before, so let's dig in. When I think of Aries, what comes to mind is a very independent go-getter personality. The key phrase in describing Aries is I am indicating the qualities of leadership and self-confidence with a strong charismatic ego. Aries are filled with adventure and courage and lots of vitality but also a sign who can be too focused on their own self-importance. As the first sign of the zodiac, Aries shouts to announce its arrival in the world, this is why Aries are always at the beginning of things, always leaders, and never followers. Now all signs, like all people, fall between being very shy or introverted, very dramatic or extroverted, Aries is going to be the king of selfishness, where the ego, the size of Alaska, but even with those quiet and more mature Aries, you will see a streak of wanting to be left alone so they can do their own thing. No matter how subtle or charming their personality may be the symbol associated with your sign is the ram, Aries is often like the battering ram, even those quiet and shy types Aries will barge in and make themselves a place in a crowd or in a waiting line, but those types that are fearless or even pushy in the outside world can be timid in their own personal lives. The Aries who is a battering ram in career can often be gentle, a gentle lamb at home. The ram is adventurous, ambitious, impulsive, enthusiastic and full of energy. Aries is a pioneer, open to new ideas and a lover of freedom, you welcome challenges and will not be diverted your purpose, except by your own, and patience which surfaces fast when you don't get quick results. Many Aries feel deeply a lifelong struggle to fight for everything in life and this can play out as a charismatic leader pioneering into unknown territories, or the Aries who is defensive and angry towards everyone because of injustices they felt as a child and have never let go of it even though it was many years ago, the difficult father figure appears again and again in the lives of Aries. Often the personal restlessness and willful activity of Aries can be understood as a quest to fight the father or authority's restrictions. Aries usually have to prove to their fathers, teachers, coaches or bosses their worth, before they feel any support or respect. Now whether the need to do battle is necessary or not, there seems to be this pervasive quality deep within all Aries to not trust authority to be supportive. Initially many Aries take to the adult war world or to the battlefield of life to not expect anything without a challenge, an initial defense of attitude before it's even warranted which of course creates a defect. A defensive reaction from other people which by now convinces many Aries why it was a good reason to be leery in the first place. However letting out the gentle lamb before declaring war is the more diplomatic and successful approach for the more evolved ram. When it comes to love, just the idea of it causes your heart to quicken, you love to flirt and you love the conquest, you are often bored because you really enjoy the chase as much as the conquest. Aries always love to win at everything and if the object of your desire gives up the challenge too soon it could stop the Aries fast in their tracks your warrior personality often causes you to be very frank, direct, and candid in all your relationships. Many of you will have a high sex drive and be quite passionate but your immature side can be your short fuse because of other people's slowness or conservative attitudes and therefore you can, many times ride rush out over the sensitivities of others. You often need to have many conquests in your romantic affairs, this impulsiveness can also trick you into early unwise marriages that could end up in a big mess. Because of your passions and your impatience being the first sign of the zodiac, you're definitely known as the great initiator where you need to always get something started and then lead the way, however the dilemma seems to be the minute, you become bored. 
You need to start something else for the adrenaline rush. However you don't finish what you keep starting therefore you might make a better idea, person or motivator rather than one who is responsible for the follow-through process. You could also be the one who encourages others to look at themselves in a new way. This ability could make you a very powerful psychologist, helping others cut through the crap and get to the heart of the situation. Immediately a take-no-prisoners approach your competitive nature gives you energy and an enormous wheel to succeed in your professional endeavors. No matter what financial hardships you endure you remain dedicated to the ultimate quest, to be your own boss. Your sign is not particularly materialistic and because you tend to be so focused on your goals you're willing to make sacrifices to achieve them just don't get so carried away with your plan that you forget about the needs of your family or loved ones, you can become so self-absorbed with your quest for the brass ring that you can forget all else and make your personal life strained. Because of your tunnel vision you don't want to end up at the finish line alone. You are also belligerent about taking orders when you see no reason for it, probably a carryover of resentment when your father or a teacher tried to curb your exuberance in your childhood. Aries are leaders with a genuine concern for those they command, you however do not make very good followers because of your restless and impatient nature to just take over and take charge, like a parent who can't wait for their child to figure out how to do. The physical appearance is often of a strong, athletic body with an abundance of nervous energy that can be best released through physical activity and competitive sports. Many areas have high foreheads and a reddish complexion or red in their hair depicting the fire that is bursting from their heads and many Aries men will have thinning of the hair but this is probably more from the high testosterone levels in men that is often the cause for their hair loss. So Aries you can either batter your head against a brick wall which is the more immature type, or you can tune into the little lamb within you and attain your goals more easily by gently working with others, instead of always coming on strong. This takes patience and maturity to learn the difference before between what you can change and what you cannot. So if you like these type of videos and want to watch more then please like and subscribe. It will help me to grow my channel. Thank you.